Hello, BM Fox here. We are day four. Saskatchewan, Colorado, California, when inactive, that is no surprise. In Africa, Algeria, when inactive, that's no surprise neither. Italy, Germany, Poland, when inactive, in Europe. In Asia, we have only Mongolia, who went inactive. And in Oceania, we've got the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Western Australia, who left the game. We've got Illinois, who's ranked first with 370 points. That's just ridiculous. Syria, our dear friend. And Oscar V, 210 points, ranked third is Sao Paulo. South Sudan has a very good match, 180 points, same for French Sudan, they've been uh, able to quite attack the players and expand. And myself, known as Stradivarius in this game, I've got 130 points, I'm ranked 13th. And a bit below me, we have Tanya Nika, our Russian Joker has also changed his name into Uganda Knuckles, with 110 points. And Egypt has given up because he's afraid of our dear friend Syria. He says that Syria is using a lot of gold, start a new game because he wants to play without gold and so he's basically sending all his units to Syria and he told me I can invade him, he will remove his units, well yeah, all to Syria. And which is cool is that he gave me a bunch of resources, 12,000 food, 6,000 goods, 8,000 steel, 10,000 oil, 18,000 rare materials materials and 80,000 money. But God knows I'm gonna need those resources because with Illinois we're gonna have a tough fight. So I wanna excuse myself because the fact that I have so many resources is seriously going to change my capability to make units and so the amount of units that I'm gonna have are gonna become unrealistic for another player who wants to copy my build order. So I excuse myself in that for advance but I'm gonna get all the tricks out of my head to be able to beat Illinois. So I'm gonna filter on morale and so I can build industry as I have a lot of resources now. So far I've focused only on the resources that I would need the most but with all these resources I can build some more industry. Built, that's done. And in faster goods we're gonna upgrade it to level 2. Built, done. And with all these resources I can also queue up level 3 recruitment stations. Done. Because I'm gonna need the manpower man. A lot of resources but I need manpower got my first tactical bomber so that's pretty cool i'm gonna fly it to my airstrip i've already started sending most of my units to the key locations in egypt his cities and resource provinces and basically sending his entire army to the capital of our dear friend oscar but he knows what's coming so he's gonna make a couple naval bombers and that's gonna take care of this real nicely i've offered south sudan to take part in the conquest but he's occupied south so this is great man for my economy this is good. In here in two days we're gonna have the entire African continent. And so now I can also start attacking here. Yes, I want to declare war. Let's go. Let's go. I can't remember what was here over here, but I think there was nothing. Let's send that in as well. You need to avoid artillery on the planes, but as this is an AI I should get away with it. And armored core, I'm gonna send it in as well. It's probably gonna be slower than this one, but it doesn't really matter. This much we can set it all the way over here done now that that is done let's see if i really declared the war i did perfect that's nice man day four also means the mightiest army lists and it's no surprise that illinois is ranked first with a ridiculous 12 percent that's really crazy man i'm ranked third with uh, north sudan i have used zero gold only a couple of booster cards for my research for tactical bombers killed my units with war bonds but that's it my ally is south sudan to 2%, French Sudan 2%, ranked 13 we have Syria 2% as he's lost a lot of units and ranked 20th we have Tanyanika 2% as well. Eight hours later. Equatorial's chat's units are moving but it's fine I'm uh, sending my artillery into the capital. These I don't care. I've sent uh, this stack after it. Should be fine. Empty province over here. Perfect. Nah, this infantry didn't die on impact. That's too bad. I wanted to split up all over the place because I'm gonna start declaring war as most of the units are disembarking now. I can just attack right now. So then uh, next day change almost all of Egypt should be taken. Uh, let's declare war. That's gonna be fun. I didn't expect the war to be so easy on Egypt as he was using gold. So bam instantly province is taken. Let's set some marches. 
go you can go over here a few moments later there were in sabha or in more than three infantry units that i need to check because i don't want to lose any units that would be pretty stupid of me because i've got the artillery trailing behind to take care of any units that were left i need to check my old screens i think they were in sabha if i remember correctly three infantry we've got artillery 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 or rocket artillery whatever we're gonna move them and this is the most logical way 12 seconds later the advantage of him having so many buildings is that some buildings have left intact over here in tank plant tank plant in luxor intact as well over here i've got an ordnance foundry that's still intact that's pretty cool man time to go to bed early morning i'm working all weekend two 14 hour shifts that's gonna hurt oh i forgot about a little thing research next up in the build order where i don't have the manpower so i'm not going to research level four yet ordnance yeah i can already research level two that's a possibility tanks i don't have 10 light tanks yet so it's not an option yet to research this air tab same thing can't research anything here at a given point i'm gonna have to research subs it only takes two hours so i can wait with that secret not important in the air tab however what i can do is already research a strategical bomber go this strategical bomber really is overpowered has 35 hit points that's a lot for a level one unit 315 speed it's low for a plane but it is 15 hit points against the buildings if you have 10 of those they're completely devastating 10 planes of those that's 350 hit points you don't take that down easily especially not in a higher level level 3 for example has already 58 hit points 27 damage versus buildings 414 speed that is dangerous man lovely units rarely use them but as allies have an increased range and bonuses it is very interesting for them to use those strategical bombers send back your enemy to the stone age the way it should be not with these stupid war bonds well good night guys i hope you have enjoyed this video please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications i want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.